Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see envelope detector. The process of demodulation is used to recover the original modulating signal or the original message we say. So, the modulated signal what is transmitted and we got at the receiver, we need to do the demodulation process in the receiver. This receiver consisting of a envelope detector. This envelope detector is going to detect the modulating signal and it will take out the information from the modulated wave. As we know, this demodulation process is does the exact reverse operation compared to the modulation process which is happening at the transmitter end. Let us see how envelope detector works. This is the circuit of the envelope detector. Here we are going to give the AM wave as input. This RS is the current limiting resistor to the circuit and we have a diode here and a RC circuit. This RC circuit will be act as a low pass filter and this diode acts as a half wave rectifier here. So, in this circuit you can see this is the half wave rectifier section and the second half of the circuit is a low pass filter. What happens when the AM wave is given as input? As the input increases like this, this diode conducts because of the forward biased condition. Until this diode is conducting, the capacitor will be charging. This capacitor charged to the maximum value. As the input to the diode reduces and the capacitor will be charged to this maximum value, diode becomes reverse biased. Why? Because at the end region, we will be having a capacitor voltage. It is more than the input what we are getting at the P end. So it becomes reverse biased. In the reverse bias condition, the capacitor gets its time for discharge. Until the next input value reaching more than this, the diode will be reverse biased and capacitor will be taking time to discharge. And again, when the input increases to the value more than the capacitor voltage, diode becomes forward biased and it will conduct and capacitor will be charged from that point again to the peak. So this process continues, capacitor will be charging and discharging. So this is how we are going to get the output. And because of the low pass filter at the second section means the RC, it is going to eliminate the high frequency components present in the modulated signal. So the half wave rectifier section and a simple low pass filter is used here to get back the message signal from the AM wave. And the charging time constant that is RF plus RS into C, here RF is the diode forward resistance, RS is the limiting resistor what we have used, this is RF into C that is the value of the capacitor. This should be too much less than 1 by FC. So here 1 by FC is the period of the carrier signal. So it should be too much less than the carrier period we can say. And also the discharging time constant that is RL into C. This RL into C should be greater than the period of the carrier signal and should be less than the period of the modulating signal. So this is the condition we need to maintain for the envelope detector to detect the modulating signal from the AM wave. And you can see here clearly this is the AM signal what we have at the input to the envelope detector and you can see here how the capacitor is charging and discharging. This capacitor charges and again discharges until it gets the next value more than that capacitor value. So this process continues and we are able to get this envelope of the AM wave out of the carrier. So this carrier will be removed and we are going to get the envelope at the output. So that will be the demodulation of AM wave by using envelope detector we can get back our original signal at the output. Thank you.